welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking to watch this video first of all actually i have to put this in here my beautiful beautiful talented sister painted them. painted that by her own two talented hands she does this with acrylic paint she's an abstract artist i'll put her link to her instagram down below she does commission pieces as well so if you want that information and you want some unique art in your home or in your office your establishment she does pieces of all sizes and also support local businesses of people of color businesses of color period today i'm going to be teaching you guys how to execute this hairstyle and any type of variation that you need because all you need to know is how to do this step right here you can do it in a bun half up half down ponytail whichever you like very versatile a good twist to add to any everyday hairstyle that you would usually cycle through so without further ado let's get started okay you guys so i'm starting with unmoisturized tangled up hair <laughs> and we're gonna get it moisturized with some water and a little bit of conditioner not necessarily like soaking wet but just damp then i'm going to take my two thumbs and run them along the tops of my ears all the way to the back of my head until they touch then i'm going to break the hair apart into two sections so it should look something like this if you're going to do half a puff down with a bun on top i'd recommend making the line a lot straighter than what i had it <laughs> but since i was doing half a puff down it doesn't matter then i'm just tying up the bottom section so it should look like this just to get it out the way then i'm going to take a rat tail comb and I'm gonna make a line down the middle of my head, just to the crown, not down the back. And I'm gonna make it as straight as possible to help while I make the triangle. So I'm gonna make two diagonal lines starting from the crown of your head. And I like to use the edge of my eyebrow or eye as a good focal point. And try to make sure the line is nice and straight. You can make this as big or as small as you want. I just chose to make it this size. And I take out my baby hairs for later. Then we're gonna take a clear elastic and tie up that piece loosely to get it out the way for a brief moment. So you should look like this, a nice even triangle up top. You're gonna take the middle section that would be for, in my case, my half up, half down, and I'm gonna tie it up to get it out the way. So you should have three separate sections, the triangle up top, the middle section, that'll be the ponytail, and the rest of the hair on the bottom. So we're gonna start with the triangle piece. So we're gonna take out the elastic, get it nice and moisturized with some water and conditioner. I like to run through it a few times with my detangling brush to make sure it's nice and detangled. And I'm going to start at the top of the triangle and create a small section, making sure the line is nice and straight. I'm going to create three smaller pieces here, and we're going to start Dutch braiding. Now the important thing to remember about Dutch braiding is as you're bringing the outside pieces to the center, you're bringing them underneath the current center piece as you see I just did. Now when you continue that process, you're gonna start grabbing pieces of hair, making the outside pieces larger before you bring them underneath the current center piece to the center. So you grab more pieces of hair. You're gonna watch me go underneath the current center piece like that to grab that outside piece and bring it right underneath to the center. You're gonna repeat that process all the way down until you reach your forehead. It's gonna look like the braid is sitting on top of your head like that. Mm. <sighs> My arms. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's important as you're doing this with the outside pieces, I emphasize going underneath because if you start bringing the outside pieces over the center piece as you're bringing it to the center, it'll be classified as a French braid instead of a Dutch braid. And you want the braid to be sitting on top of the head, not underneath, if that makes any sense. So it should look like this. Uh, once I get to the bottom and there's no hair left, I try to finish off the braid before tying it up in an elastic just to make sure all the hair is nice and tight in there. Once I ensure that it's nice and tight, I'm just going to refresh the hair a little bit in case it dried up as I was braiding. I spray it with some water, add a little bit of conditioner, and sometimes a little bit of gel or edge control. We're going to split it in half. Tuck away the other half that I won't deal with until after behind my ear. And then we're going to take this first half and do a simple braid all the way down to the end. Then I'm going to take a clear elastic and tie it tightly on the ends until the last loop. I'm going to make it into a little loop instead of pulling it all the way through. And you guys are going to see why later. So after we have the two braids, we're going to take the middle section that's going to be the ponytail and we're going to work on getting it slicked back in the ponytail. I'm getting it nice and moisturized again with some water and conditioner. Now, if you were doing just a bun or a ponytail, it would obviously be all your hair, the rest of the hair you had available, not just the middle section. 
So now I'm working on getting this slick back with my hard brush, making sure there's no flyaways. You should now have three sections. You have the braids in the front, your half up pony, and then the rest of your hair. So from here you have two options. Option one being just taking the braids in the front and bobby pinning them to the back of the half up pony. Option two, which is my personal preference, is taking the braids and first feeding them through the black elastic where your half a pony is through, and then taking the ends of them where we had the loops, pulling the hair through so I can easily pull out the clear elastic and have it blend in with the rest of my ponytail. From then, I take the last third section at the bottom that's been tied up and take it out so that way we can let out the rest of the hair. After that, I make sure the rest of my hair is slicked back. I go over it with some gel or edge control with my hard brush again before then taking the bobby pins and bobby pinning them in place. This just helps me have some extra security and making sure that they're not gonna go anywhere. And then I do my little pelositos on the side. You already know this is my signature. And you're all set. You could leave it here if you wanted to, but I'm extra. So I added these uh, gold accents that you can find at any beauty supply store. I think they were like $1.30 maybe per packet. I had small and big ones. I just put them anywhere where I deem fit to put them. And I think it made it really cute and elegant and elevated. Alrighty y'all, this is it. This is how the hair came out. I honestly love this hairstyle because it's completely versatile. You can do it half a back down how I have it here. You can do it half a back down with a moño, a bun up top. You can do two buns up top. You can do it in just a ponytail if you wanted to, just a bun. It's completely up to you. I feel like this is a really nice accent that you can add to regular everyday hairstyles that a lot of people, especially curly girls, cycle through every single day. I really appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you give this a big thumbs up. Please like and subscribe and comment on my stuff. Please like and subscribe and comment on my stuff. We'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> I think I'm done.